guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. Today's video we're gonna do, we're gonna take you around the shop and we have a couple really cool fish that are going to be on the auction. Let's just make a little tease here and just show some of them. So this is the phantoms we have left. This little fat guy over here. This guy is a big one. We have only a few left and they're gonna be on the auction. I think we're only gonna put one on the auction, right? And then we can do it every week? Yeah. All right. And then here, oh, let's leave this for, there's two uh, things right here we're gonna leave it for last. So the first wait, thing. Wait, wait. What happened to your eye, bro? Look at that. My it left means, eye? Let me zoom in on it. What is that? This one here? Yeah. The other day, your mom. No. I, I looked at the wrong fish that I couldn't have, yeah. and that's what happened. Okay. All right, let's leave it at that. My mom's a very nice lady. No, I didn't say your mom. I said mom. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hey. Don't, don't, don't go like that, all right? First thing, let's do the, the group of um, Black Widow Frontosas. I wanted to keep them, but at this point, we don't know where we're moving to. We don't know what's happened with the shop in Florida. So I'm just gonna put them in the auction. Hopefully they'll go to a good home. I think we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and a couple males and a couple females. They're actually really big. What do you think? They're like six to seven inches, right? Yeah, those are nice. Yeah, it's a whole group of them. They're doing very well. They've been here for a while. I, I wanted to try to breed them because these little things are not expensive, not, I mean, not cheap. The little ones we we're getting selling for like 30, 40 bucks, like that big. Yeah, big. Those came in big from China. Uh, we have this one Fajaca left. These colors are not popping out right now because he's in a blue tank. So we got him left. Pahaka, oh, Rosemary. You all right? Yeah. You all right, Lisa? Okay, so we have this big boy right here, or big girl. Again, once you put them in a tank with the like background or, or sand and driftwood, the, the colors will pop out really nice. And I have one more. We sold a lot of them, huh? The Rosemary. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we have this guy here too. Yeah, so the auction can be for each one of them. It yeah. don't, don't really matter. We have, you want to do five Tiger Skets? We're actually running low on Tiger Skets. Yo, bro, you left your bed over here. Sorry. I know you're a hard worker, you know? You got to stay a shop sometimes. So we got five Tiger Skets. They're eating a lot, too. And then another one of the auction I'm going to do, I want to do that biggest... Fogel right there. See that guy? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a good, he's pushing five inches right now, but he's fat. He's fat. He's eating frozen foods. Very healthy fish. We're going to put him on the auction. So we have all those. And all right, true parrot. Man, I've been raising this guy forever. So again, I did. I did. You know, it's Lisa's, Lisa's birthday coming up. I got to look fresh <laughs> with the pink eye. Wait, this is not a pink eye. This is a sty, right? Sty. All right, all right. Well, so, tell, them, tell them the truth, bro. What really happened? You got into a fight? Did Lisa hit you? That's what happened. I looked at the wrong fish, <laughs> and then, boom, I turned around, and it happened. So this dude right here is about 12 inches. I've been raising him for a while. But, again, I'd rather him go to a good home because we're not going to be able to transport a lot of our fish. So he's going to be in the auction. Uh, Lacustre Pike. Oh, All right, yeah. so we have one more of those, right? Yeah. Wait, maybe three. Yeah. Okay, so let's get this big boy right here. He's healthy, looking good. I think he might even be chasing this one. So he's going to be on the auction. He's got to be bigger than 12 inches. So yeah. if you guys want to buy one of these, this size is probably like, I would say between 12 and 14. And that's it, right? Rosemary, Fajaca, Tiger Skets, Fogel, Lacustre, Phantom, and the Black Widows, and the Parrot. All right, so we went over everything. We didn't even waste any time. You see this? We're, Wait. We don't have to be like, oh, we need 15 minutes, but we do. So let's leave this one for last, and let's go to this one right here. These are some of the Phantoms that I've been raising. Let's put the oxygen on this side now. And these guys, we're just going to put them on the website for a thousand bucks. 
They're all over 12 inches. That's, That's a good price, though. That's a good deal, bro. I mean, the amount of, we probably spent over that money just feeding these guys. Yeah. But they're literally all over 12 inches. Very healthy. These are actually, these are actually uh, the ones that I've been raising for the, for the challenge, but I don't think it's fair that I, that I'm part of the challenge because I'm the one that created the challenge. Yeah. So I shouldn't take my own money, you know, that's my wife's job. Sure. So if you, want, if you want, you would invest on these and you still have a chance at the end of the year to get a $500 credit at predatoryfins.com. It's just whoever gets the biggest fish. Now I saw, uh, what's his name? At, off the deep end aquatics. He's a oh, YouTuber. This is big. Yeah, it looked pretty big. And we're talking about the, the phantom here. Yeah. Um, just want to make sure. Because oh. the way you said it, he's just big. <laughs> so I just want to be sure I'm on a, a different page than you are. And um, these, I, I think if we were feeding them more, they would have been a lot bigger. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they definitely, definitely amazing fish. I might even just like do a little cheating yeah, and, and bring a big one. This guy? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the difference between the Phantom and the Platinums is the Phantoms, as you can see, some of them are already born with the little black, right? And that will stay for life, but it won't get any more black patches or any of that. The, the Platinums, even though they're white when they're small, as they grow, they can come up with a gray patch on top or black spots as well. So like these guys here, you see there's one little black spot here, the one here, that's all he's gonna have for the rest of his life. This is a nice one. It's almost like a so purpley see-through, yeah. Maybe in, in the camera, you guys watching at home, it doesn't do justice. Like these fish are really, really cool. Like right now, all of these have like this yellow golden sheen to it. And the, the fins are all like orange red. Really cool fish. Long. This guy? Yeah. I like this one just because it's a little more light, but the gold ones look nice too. So we have four of them and we're gonna put them on the website. If you are interested in buying them, you can also message Pojito on this number. This is the auction number, guys. Yeah, auction. Let's make sure we have the right number this time because last time we put the wrong number. 561-231-2739. So what are you gonna do if you saw any of this fish that you want? You're gonna send a text. Lanny's gonna take that text, put your name, the bid, and the fish you're bidding on, and he's gonna reply to everybody. I got a lot of messages like, oh, you know, nobody replied to me. It's because either he gave me the wrong number or I wrote down the wrong number and we made a mistake. No, I think you gave me the wrong number. We just couldn't find the paperwork to prove. <laughs> but this is it, guys. I don't know when we're gonna have any more phantoms again, but that's the last of it. So these we're gonna put on the auction and these we're gonna have for sale on the website. Wow, look at them, they're like in a- I know. It's like, so it's like a nice, so thanks. Uh, no, nobody's distancing over here right now. Yeah. All right, and then for last, this, is, this was a heartbreaker for me because I, let me cover up so you don't screw up. I've been chasing this fish for a while, but again, we don't know I mean, we know where we're going, okay? Let me explain to you what's happening. The place we found, we had to apply with the city, okay? And because what we told them the plan that we want to do, we didn't want to, you know, do something that we're not allowed to, they require a lot more parking spots that, than we have. So we have to apply for a waiver, and that could take up to six months. So right now, we don't know what's happening, you know, if we're still going to the building, if we're, if we're gonna find another building, but we're definitely looking to purchase something a lot bigger than this and do like a crazy facility in one place. This way we never have to do it again because I tell you, I don't wanna do any more plumbing. Look, I did this plumbing here every night for like two weeks and I don't want to ever do this again, but I will have to one more time. Look at this. This is the worst thing I ever had to do in my life. It goes all the way down, and then have the top row and the bottom row. Professional. I mean, I wouldn't say professional, but that's definitely a lot of work. Yeah. What happened to that? Look at down here. What? It's like well, it's, you know, the whole thing is not professional, but it's a lot of cutting, a lot of piping. 
you know. And yeah, piping is fun, but not when you have that much piping to do. It's not fun. So enough of talk. Let's go over this guy. This is our number two. The first one we sold, and this one, we were keeping it. And he's got to a really good size. And I think I'm ready to, to let him go. Just because, again, when we move, we're not going to have anything set up right away. It's going to take time. So I don't want to take a chance of this magnes magnificent fish. Whoa, bro. I said, I said it right. That's what I said. You said magnesium. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, Lisa, I did not say magnesium. Uh, so I read it to go to a good home. But at the same time, we did pay a lot of money for him. So if you guys want, I'm not even going to put on the auction. I'm just going to take offers. And if the offer makes sense, we're going to sell it. But look, go ahead. You can show it. This Damn. is, for me, like a translucent because you can see, like, the veins and everything. Uh, this is a mixture of a Karuskins, as you see the dots, and a reticulatum catfish. So those are two different species of tiger shovenos. I think there's a few of them. But this is a hybrid. And what an amazing fish, man. It took me forever to find one of them. We found a smaller one. We sold that guy. And this one, I would say, is a good eight to nine inches. He's eating frozen, very friendly. He's not really shy or afraid of you. Yeah. He'll come and eat out of your uh, hand. He eats a lot, though. He does, right? Yeah. But honestly, like, let me try to put a light on him because it's almost like I don't think they can truly see how light he is. It's like he's got, like, a nice... Almost see through, like almost yeah, like a yeah. phantom. You think you can kind of put them in your hand a little bit? Let me see. Last time I had a tiger shovel nose in my hand, he went through my finger, so. I don't want to spook him. But you can see like the color difference. Uh, he's he's going to go crazy. Come on, buddy. At least it's a styrofoam. Jeez. Look at that. Yeah. He's got a really white body, too. Yeah, he's, he's a very, very pretty, unique fish. They're not easy to find. And actually, I've been holding him for a while. I wanted to grow him out before I show you guys, so I know he's not going to change. Uh, we did have, before, we did have white fish that started having black markings. And those were because there was something wrong with the fish. Like, when, when I lost the two white peacocks, it was after the stingray that was in there tried to give birth. And the babies got stuck. The babies died. The mom died and weren't here all day on Sunday. So the water was disgusting the next day when I came in. And the peacocks were never the same after that. So they start getting black, 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 and then they died. But that's it. I think uh, these fish are amazing. I think they're going to do very well. If you, like I said, if you want to have a phantom that's already big, here's your chance. If we have four left. And if you want to do jump on your auction, which one do you want to put on the auction? Um, probably this guy, huh? Big dude? Yeah. Yeah, we can put the big dude. They're so cool. Man. So, guys, we are working on new shipments. Stay tuned for that. We're probably going to be doing a boxing video soon. Again, we're very busy trying to figure out all this move and stuff. You know, I thought it was going to be a lot easier, a lot faster, but... Everything is a process. You got to trust the process, you know. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Did you see that on, like, a quote? Instagram I saw quote? something like that, but I think I said it wrong. <laughs> so that would be it. Uh, I have a lot of people asking me, like, oh, are you going to take prime time? Are you going to take, yes. Uh, we'll take some of our fish up to where we're going. But for now, I mean, until we even set up, they're going to have to stay here. All right? Don't forget, the auction ends when? Bro. Got to record. Yeah, right. I'm not even gonna say anything because I know you lie. The auction ends what? You wrote it on the uh, paper? Monday. Today's uh, Friday. 6 p.m. people, Monday. All right, so remember, you have to say pollito before you send a text, all right? No, if you say pollito, I'm gonna ignore you guys. That means baby chicken, which that's what he is. I thank you guys. I hope you uh, get the fish you're looking for, and we'll see you next time.